Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage, the ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. The Duke of Sir Konos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Duke of Sirkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland, Sirkonos offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation. The rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all. Family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin. Your rightful empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now, I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily! What happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father! Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Delilah is some sort of witch. How is this possible? Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... he's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexei, I'm sorry. Goodbye. My signet ring. room blocked off we should have the time we need just stay here and stall anyone who comes by i'll be back when i've searched the royal chambers assuming i don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room we'll cover for you if anyone from the duke's party returns <sighs> this is exciting everything's changing yes the natural order is reasserting itself the ramses once hosted the king and queen of morley did you know that I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, cream of society. 
And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. won't leave my hand again. Anton Sokolov made this lock. I spent so many nights in here after the rat plague. I have a feeling I'll need these. I should close the safe room door so Captain Ramsey stays put. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsey. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsay. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. I need to find a ship. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it, you've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. The air feels heavy. Hard to get a good lung for. <laughs> Former Empress Emily Caldwin has been accused of high crimes against the state. Hiding? Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. Hmm. Think you're smart? Nothing I'll here. Find you. Let's have a look around. What? Another victim. Emily Caldwin is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. <laughs> I have two. 
and I give him one. I still got to me one. But then if I eat it... No, if he eats it... I've gotta get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. <sighs> Road is blocked by order of the city watch. Locked? What am I supposed to do now? What's happening now? Not my concern, citizen. I'd advise you to return to your home. That's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me. You don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. of Dunwall. Aiding a fugitive is now punishable by death. Aid the city watch in this time of transition. Some kind Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. But Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yes, I'm ready. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels... odd. What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. What? Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. Someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Incredible.
This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Corvo mentioned being here once. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. There is no sky. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. we have done in the old days. All sharp metal and shadows, we'd say. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence, I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall. 
but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. I'd take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland, and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire. Take out the Crown Killer and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. What ship is that out there? Another skipper? The dreadful whip. No. It's not on the river. Yes! It's so people trying to get away from Karnaka. I'll get the cigars tomorrow. Where are you gonna go? Wanna buy There's one? money here. Even if it's dirty. So many hands built this place. And it is so grand. Well, so grand. It could have been a paradise for all. No. More likely, we all get stung to death. Then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. I told you what would happen if you reported me. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. Please? It's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitches. Remember, if anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. <coughs> the wall of light from the time of the rat plague. Hey, is the windmill turning all right up there? No problems? Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. Actions, I have the following announcement. This year's blood fly concern is the most severe in recent memory. If you encounter a corpse, do not disturb it. Any attempts to practice the funeral rites of the Abbey of the Everyman will be punished. Contact the Grand Circle Guard at once. The Guardsman on site. Handle the situation and whether any station. This should take me out to the Institute. River crust is more likely. The wall of light. Cruel and oppressive. 
Something unsavory going on. Uh, I'm good and drunk after this. Including citizens moving between home and work. Any attempts to hinder the Grand Guard in their enforcement duties will be met with the exercise of force. Any complaints as to the behavior of the Grand Guard should be addressed to the nearest guardsman. No one knows what's happened. Could be anything. Station. This should take me out to the Institute. Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for recuperating aristocrats. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killer's taking lives in my name and has to be stopped. It's my hope that Hypatia can explain. They say she's brilliant and altruistic. Well respected across Circonos. Hard times. Hard times. Gotta be on the lookout. What's going on here? Nope. Nobody half sure there was something going on. It's time.
Yeah, stupid fucking damn dusty <sighs> shit. Ship change is in midnight. Miss the boat, and you get another ship without pay. Without pay. You don't stand a chance anyway. The key might be in Hypatia's office. Are you a patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov? Yes. He was here for a short time, but she took him away to see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh yes, the murders. I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just... I used to do such good work and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. Are you... are you alright? <laughs> Dr. Hypatia did this. She's the Crown Killer. But she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. She's a good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum help her. The safe code is 312. Hopefully it's inside. Her 
Father's sake. I hope this works. Perhaps an L. No, no, no! Not back to sleep! I won't. I won't give it back! Dr. Hypatia? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No. Someone was poisoning you. But you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. yet. I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. Did you find Sokolov? No. But Hypatia was the crown killer. What? I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. What about Sokolov? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know him? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sirkonos. Then he's next. Let's hope Anton's alright. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. He transformed our city with his inventions. Electricity for the factories and carriages racing along above the streets. As I grew up, his buzzing and glowing devices kept me safe. His stories always made me giggle, and his outrageous conversation shocked aristocrats and overseers alike. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. A mad inventor who has given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. We've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Anton back here, safe and sound. You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms, just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Adamire. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. 
I liked him. But something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me, but I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. My dreams are still filled with visions, some of which I'd sooner forget. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Ready. All right. Let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. Jindosh's mansion from here. The carriage line is blocked. I'll have to unlock the gate. has a strange beauty to it. Maybe I'll find a way to end this without killing Kirin Jindosh. All right, I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. There's no chance that a letter to any of my friends could reach Dunwall right now. There are such strange and wonderful things living down in the deep. would build something like this, and why? Ah, someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house. Jinnosh. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities, seeing how the common mind navigates these shifting rooms. I'm Karen Jindosh, but you must know that. I invite you to continue, stranger. Just come up the stairs. Meet with me face to face in the upper hall. There you are. Magnificent. Now that I see you, I've worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? 
That's closer. You trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a good back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes, your imperial majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. So this is how it works. I think you're going to elude my clockworks, but you'll only end up teaching me, adding to my studies. In my autopsy, I would be curious to observe the rumored pitch in the sea of the cold with line. Who's there? What's that noise? Whatever. Who's that? <laughs> I've got just the thing for you! Odd, oh, for a second I registered you in two places at once. Extraordinary. You consider the Grand Guard personnel protecting me to be quarried, but you get to best one of my clockwork soldiers. I anticipate your intent. You out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. At least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. The electroshock machine should work now. Oh, no! 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 You don't know what you're doing! Anything! 
anything. I'll give you anything you want. Stop. Don't do this. So much will be lost. An age of advancement. <laughs> Too bad it had to come to this gymnasia. You did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go then. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower, and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? The servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. Are you Would you like to tell me your name? We were just playing. Yeah, I'm just... It was your It was her! Delilah's life! She broke it! Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Everyone's 
Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. He's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served and you'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. I don't know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Jindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try and make it. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. 
Turns out the vice overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, maybe. See you soon. Seer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos, and Delilah. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lives in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Megan can take 
Erebus of Megan is out in the city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. Do you think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Ready now? Ready. Take Megan's skiff closer. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups of Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Stirred up memories. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on? The Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. This must be Paolo's place. unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. 
The Duke of Circonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Is that Paolo? Oh. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Burn. But for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me, and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you shut him down for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and to enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Burn. As will I, my masked friend. Take our friend here away. tomorrow. You want to buy one? Sure. information was correct. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the places I'd visit. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne, and my father a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, mother's passing and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's reign and get my father back. This house holds her secrets. Delilah pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, 
and even my father's sword couldn't end her life. I'm going to undo all she's done, and next time, I'll hold on to the things I cherish just a bit tighter. There are whales down in the mines! I hear them howling to one another. Swollen beasts. Something is wrong here. Even the air feels off. Yo? Aramis Stilton? Warm the quilts, will you? I feel... Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Things seem to be the worst here. The two times are overlapping now somehow. Welcome again to my house. Let's get this over with. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding, and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge when natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. The more I hear, the more I think this is ill-advised. Who wants to speak with the dead? If this Delilah really was killed or banished from the world, what if she's lost her mind? Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time, so take your positions. Focus on the void behind the world. You can feel her power. Can't you? By the stars! This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Wait! Wait! We can't really... Idiot! Here. Returned. From the cold. From forever. How curious. It seems to have worked. My spirit is safe now, inside this thing. Luca, you must lock it away. I can still see the insides. One has become a stone, the other reforged and marked by the one whose eyes are black. Poor Aramis. I feel obliged to take care of him out of loyalty to my father. Wait. You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return. And someday, I'll come for you. The void beyond the world is strange. I won't ever understand all I've seen. I need to get out of here. Back to the dreadful whale. Crumbling island at the very edges of the void. But 
This one is special. It's the place where my throat was cut. 4,000 years ago. This is where my life ended. And where it began again. It's where they made me. This part of the void feels... older. Right up until the end, I thought I'd find a way to escape. I fought, but the ropes only cut my skin. So I went limp. And then the knife touched my throat, and I knew I made it too long. The blood ran out, and I became a god. Now you know Delilah's secret. At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place. The island in the void where I became what I am. It changed her, and she discovered a way to draw from it, tapping into the power here. Delilah is a part of me now, and I don't like it. You have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away, inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. The world contains more mysteries than I imagined. People get what's coming to him, Megan. Leaders rise and fall. Are you ready to leave? The dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I paid a visit to Paolo and the Howlers, and I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You should be at peace. I have stayed too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. Ready to visit the Duke? Ready. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. 
At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. say the same a mystery let's have it then who are you and what do you want listen i think you're the duke's body double you can't have any love for the man i'm here to end his rule and i have an idea you should hear all right you've figured it out but if you're not here to assassinate the duke what do you want it occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel, and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Double's finally lost his mind and believes he's the duke. I've spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida! 
Come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. Poor man. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there was something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending he was me. That eventually took its toll. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Sercurus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. This must be the Duke's vault. Handling, commence lens refocus. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. This is it. We must release thee from this dead vessel. Only then you'll be able to trap the divine spirit. I don't know how I can do this. You were all I ever wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you, always. Oh. I love you. And this it is the final fog I carry into the abyss. So it's done. Now to take a look at To my half-sister, only her flesh remains. Running search protocol. There. Now to wait. survived the Grand Helm. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Let's set out. All right, as you want. I grew up with this broken skyline the muted colors and the way the light falls. It's done well, but it's not. Have I changed, or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. Must admit, 
Remarkable what Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight. And Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. If I hadn't killed the Duke's- Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dowd, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together, we were paid to... You helped Dowd kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did, but suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah, we've all been hurt. Not all of us did what I did, or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it, but neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. If old Samuel could see me now. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You let your mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin. Her skin lids tucked beneath her. Because I couldn't afford proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept a little girl. Your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. Uh. Delilah's in the throne room. I can use the elevator to reach her. So here we are. 
where my dear lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where your mother bedded your father, then gave birth to you. Where she was murdered by Dowd and his black-hearted crew. The place that ruined both our lives. to my throne. If I change the number of corrupt runes attached to the throne, it should turn Delilah's painting against her. should trap her in her own fantasy world. Distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long. Sing my songs and lick my flesh. Worship me! Father? Emily, what happened? Let's sit down. I'll explain it all. After facing a powerful supernatural enemy, the Empress and her royal protector saw a welcome ally in the Abbey of the Everyman. The Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order brought peace, purity, and tradition to Sirkonos. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever, as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atana by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry hurtling the Empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. <laughs> <laughs> 